What's up, Terabytes? I'm Tara with Tara Simon Studios. And I'm Coach Catherine. Coach Catherine is the newest addition to the TSS family. Say hi, guys. That's Hello. right. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Catherine is just as goofy and crazy as we all are here at TSS, and we are so excited to have her with us. Coach Catherine coaches piano, voice, songwriting, and acting at TSS. So make sure that you hit her up if you're looking to take your artistic journey from good to great in any of those areas. She's happy to help and you're gonna to get to know her in future videos as well as this one. Yay! <laughs> okay, so we're talking today about jaw tension. So we will be releasing a video shortly about like a head and neck massage for the jaw. But this today is about how to how to get over singing with jaw tension. Um, the head and neck massage will certainly help, but we're gonna give you some examples of what singing with jaw tension looks and sounds like. I'm gonna be the wrong example, and Coach Catherine's gonna be the right example. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> she will be. And, and we're gonna give you um, kind of an audible and visual example of what to do and what not to do so that hopefully you know the difference and you know that you're doing the right or the wrong thing at home, and of course, hone in on the right thing. Okay, so something that a lot of singers do when they're singing with jaw tension and they don't realize it is, they're what they're doing is they're controlling the muscle here, right here, the chewing muscle, that's allowing the jaw to drop, okay? And when the jaw does not drop, we end up needing space from somewhere, and so we end up bleeding from the chin. So we get a lot of this going on, like chicken head stuff, right? And that's not cute, it's not a good look. <laughs> so, like for example, if I'm singing like, I don't know, Amazing Grace, and I'm singing, Amazing Grace, Grace. Do you hear how thin it is that up there? so beautiful. <laughs> You're being sarcastic. <laughs> yes. Grace. It's just, it's chinny and it's throaty and it's thin versus Amazing Grace, Grace versus Grace. Now watch if I don't breathe and I go from jaw tension to jaw relaxation. Grace. I didn't move in, in intensity at all. In fact, I didn't push my abs anymore, but I suddenly instantly got louder anyway. And that's because there's this little beautiful inner microphone that just appears when you have enough space in your jaw. Bonus, also, my vibrato ends up feeling much more free and fluttery because I don't have tension. And vibrato is your voice's little thank you note to itself by being able to be relaxed and undulate those cords. So there's many, many benefits that happen when you alleviate jaw tension. So the grrrr part is, is one, of the, one of the many telltale signs. But let's just say that you're not so overt with it, okay? Right. I just, sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> let's just say that you're not so overt with it. And, and you may just be closing your mouth and not jutting your jaw. Let's say you're not a big power singer and, and your voice isn't involuntarily forcing you to jut your jaw for more space. Let's say you're a more quiet singer and you're just, yeah, a little, little church mouse, and you're just like, you know, not dropping your jaw but not jutting it forward, so it's not as easy to tell. Amazing grace, grace. So it ends up coming a little higher right. up in the head, right? right. It kind of comes out the, mouth, out the nose a little bit more. I'm not jutting, but I'm still inducing jaw tension here because I'm still not letting it drop and lock. So Catherine, why don't you give us an example, sing in any key you want of Amazing Grace, of a nice, opened, like silent scream face grace that just drops and locks for us, okay? Here we go. Amazing Grace. Oh, right in the heart. <laughs> I love Catherine's tone. It's very unique and beautiful. She's got this rasp yet perfect tone to her belt. It's so gorgeous. <laughs> it's beautiful. And that's a great example. So Catherine, do that one more time and turn a little bit to the side so that they can see your jaw. So stare at the, the tree and I want them to see from the side what it looks like when a jaw drops and locks. Okay. Do it one more time for me. Amazing Yes, it's gorgeous. And, and she can hold on to that forever because it's simply set in place and all she needs to do is continue to push air out to sustain it. Versus amazing grace. I'm feeling 
feeling all sorts I'm of felt that. Yeah, I'm feeling <laughs> naughtiness right here. It's just not cute, right? <laughs> so how do we alleviate jaw tension, guys? First of all, I want you to know for yourself if you have TMJ or temporal mandibular jaw dysfunction. Because if you do, then it's gonna be an upward uphill battle for you to completely alleviate right. TMJ. And if you get diagnosed with it, or your your dentist, orthodontist, maybe even MD could could tell you if you have TMJ. Um, it's basically uh, a, just a disconnection. I know Catherine and I both have it a little bit on one side, right? Yeah. But we are both able to still work past it. So knowledge is power. Knowing that you have it is half the battle because right. I know when I feel that little click. It's fine. I'm working past so it. Weird. It is like it's a little bit of yeah, jar. Like right? I'm broken. Like I'm broken. <laughs> Goodness, that's so dramatic. But you know, well. it's true. It does feel a little bit. It does right. feel a little bit not right. right. But knowing that it's there, it helps you work past it. So you can, you know that. And if it's if it's extreme TMJ, you may want to discover if you're grinding at night or if there's um, if you're chewing gum, don't just don't chew gum anymore because it aggravates it. But if you're grinding at night, you get a bite plate that can help alleviate TMJ as well. Um, and but just knowing if you have a slight case like me and Catherine do, then you can also just work past it and use jaw isolation exercise. So we'd want to give you one jaw isolation uh, isolation exercise today to help you with that, just to show you that you can sing powerfully, you can sing big notes without even needing to close and open your mouth multiple times. You can still sing words if you're careful without really using your jaw a lot. So we're gonna do hey now for them. Okay. Okay, and hey now goes like this. You drop first one time and then you say hey now. Hey now, right. Hey now, so it's five to one. Hey now, do it with me, Catherine. Hey now. See how her jaw is perfectly isolated. There's no movement other than her tongue. That's exactly what we want. And we just said two words. Hey and now. Now it's really, really easy, and most people do this. Hey now. Now if you slow mo that part of the video down, it would look like this. Hey now. <laughs> Did you like that slow mo? That was beautiful. It was Please right. okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm totally closed. My teeth are touching, and then I open up again. Versus hey now, or just my tongue touches. That's what we want. That's a great way to alleviate jaw tension and to train the jaw to stay open. Right. Okay. So let's go up a little bit. We won't go high, high, but just to give you an idea that you can be repetitive about this and go up higher in range. And now two ready and of what happens when maybe you think you've got it and then you all of a sudden don't. It's a constant state of big time um, focus. Now, if you feel like, oh, I'm doing it right, double check yourself. Take a mirror and do it again. If you see any movement, then you're doing it wrong. So let's just, just for confidence sake, let's do it one more time on this note. Hey now, do this for me. Hey now, yeah now. Hey now and perfectly fixed when you're focused on it but when you feel like you're in the groove and you got it the second you think you got it it's gone because the involuntary action in our brain that neural pathway that is the regular old okay I'm used to doing this says close your mouth because that's what we do when we speak we close our mouth right we're not talking like this all the time we'd sound crazy but when we sing we kind of need to do more of that and less of this so it's counterintuitive to how we are when we speak, which is why mirrors help, which is why putting your hands in that hole right here help, because if you close it, it gets kicked out, and then you know, oh, I did it the wrong way. Right. Right? right. So this is a really important thing to master, guys, because it helps you with space, and any extreme note, high or low, has to have space and support. It's one of the two pillars in which 
singers and sing smarter not harder stand upon so thank you so much for watching guys get in front of that mirror make sure you're leaving that jaw tension thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel click that notifications button and give us a like and if you're looking for lessons check out coach Catherine at tss she is available to help take your vocal journey from good to great <laughs> bye guys bye